everyone and welcome back to Sticky Goose Gaming and Collectibles. We've got a statue review today. We're talking about Magneto, the master of magnetism. Eric Lyncher, his, his common name, his, his non-superhero name. Um, let's do a deep dive in exactly what this statue is. This is a sideshow piece. This is a premium format maquette. So our other videos, um, we also had premium format. Go check out that premium format uh, Wolverine when you get a chance. But this is considered a maquette. Now, what that means exactly, um, I believe it's just a way for Sideshow to charge a little bit extra, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I'm assuming it's because it's a larger base, larger presence, and uh, yeah, he's, um, he's pretty pronounced. He, he pretty much steals the show of that, uh, that, that shelf. Um, he's about 26, 27 inches tall. Um, this is the exclusive. This is um, the, uh, the Sideshow Premium Format exclusive. So there's the Collector's Edition, which um, comes with just him with his helm. And then the exclusive comes with uh, this disembodied head that you see uh, down here, just chilling. Laura really got a, got a kick out of that, just just that little head just down there chilling. Um, but this was like a make or break for me for an exclusive because I thought this head sculpt was so cool. And that's actually how I have him displayed, but for the sake of uh, you know people actually knowing who and recognizing who this is, I thought you know the helm is, is really what sets him apart. All right, so starting from the base here, the base is absolutely incredible. So in other videos that we've seen, we, you know, the base kind of tells a story, but I think this base tells the biggest story, is the most impressive. It is a flattened, smashed uh, sentinel head. You can see like the little eye, um, this would be like its face. Um, Magneto, obviously, he's a master of magnetism. He can create, uh, he can smash metal, mold metal, control metal, and he has just destroyed the Sentinel. So this kind of goes well with the Wolverine piece, and that's how I have him displayed. Is you know Wolverine was you know kind of charging on top of that Sentinel hand. Magneto has crushed this, um, this sentinel head, so it's kind of like they're working together. And there are other pieces in this line that are in this sentinel, um, this sentinel kind of base. So that is something that if you wanted to display these, they're called companion pieces, um, which is just a fancy way of saying, you know, we want you to buy more statues and put them together. But, you know, this is... Uh, this is a special base. I think this probably is my favorite base. Um, working our way up, he has this awesome levitating effect. So he is only keyed in on his foot right here. So on his boot, um, he is he's keyed into this right here, and that's the only thing holding him up. So he truly gives that appearance that he's soaring, flying over this thing. And he is completely clean, like... In other statues, you know, they 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 put that dirty effect, that grimy kind of look on the boots. He is just clean. He is untouched, unscathed. This massive sentinel was was nothing for him. So I think that's a really cool effect. Um, going up here, these are all removable. These like like extra pieces that are projecting off. Um, and they, they give it more depth, they give it more effect. I, I think, I think it's, it's, it's powerful. It's just kind of, you kind of got to be careful with these. Uh, um, they, they, they'll, they'll catch it. Uh, going up here farther, um, so we've got a mixed me media cape. So if there's anything I kind of dislike about this is this cape. Because one, I'm not very good at posing it. Two, it just, I think a... a a sculpted cape is more effective. So if you if you go watch one of our other reviews, the, the, the Batman Master Race, go check that video out. Um, it's a sculpted cape, and this is, I mean, it, it's, it's effective. It, it looks good, and, you know, it, it allows you, you know, for some artistic uh, choices. You know, you can 
move it, you know, this way, this way, make it smaller, bring it out. I mean, but it gives the piece so much more width. It gives it more depth. It, it makes it more grand. So, um, I don't know. I think they could have done it with the sculpted cape, but they didn't. So the suit, this is the same kind of deal um, with another piece we reviewed. It has this, this different texture. So it has this, this texture here on his legs and on his body, on, a, on his torso. It's this, it looks like leather. And then like here under the abs, here on his leg, this is, it's that, uh, that spandex-like material. Um, and it's not a material, it's just an effect they've done, but it gives the piece contrast because it would just be so red. Um, and then with the belt and the gauntlets, um, and then this, this chest piece right here, this is so cool. Um, that purple really pops. So with the head sculpt here, um, a lot of it is covered by the helm, but if you go behind it, you can actually see like his hairline is like, behind it and uh, the next scene is pretty much like invisible. Um, his eyes are whited out again. The exclusive is how we, how we display him and I felt like it was a must for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out now. Um, and this is just held on by a magnet. It just comes off just that easily. Um, and it just kind of snaps down in there. This this to me is just so much cooler. Like uh, they absolutely knocked this sculpt out of the park. I mean, his expression, like his skin tone, the sculpted hair, his eyes, they almost have like a glossy look to them. It's, it's incredible. Um, it truly is probably the best head sculpt I have of any of my pieces. All right, so is this piece worth your money? I mean, if you're a Magneto fan, I think this is the best Magneto statue, period. Um, Magneto has always been probably one of my favorite villains other than the Joker. Um, he's just, he's Wolverine's foil just completely. And he's, you know, he's just such a cool villain. And just that idea of, you know, him trying to, um, his, his motives are, you know, totally against Professor Xavier's, but, you know, you can kind of see what he's, he's trying to do. You can kind of see where he's coming from. Um, and here he's just, he's just commanding so much presence. You're getting a lot of statue for the money. Um, you're getting a lot of statue. I mean, this is 26 inches tall. I mean, um, and as far as like a design, perspective and whether this piece is a success. I mean, this captures Magneto's essence. I truly believe that. It was one of those snap buys for me. Like I saw this and I was like, I had to have him. He's still for sale um, and you can still get the exclusive on Sideshow. So I think, um, you know, if, you, if you're a Magneto fan or you're just an X-Men fan in general, you're a collector, you cannot go wrong with this one. So, um, Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. We really appreciate all the support. Um, got a few more statue reviews coming down the pipe. Just got a new one in, so uh, be looking out for that. We've got a CGC follow-up video, and we're going to be submitting some more books to CGC. So check those videos out coming down the pipe. Appreciate everybody watching, and uh, take care.